Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome. It is Thursday, May the 4th at 8.30. I am dual streaming on my dog's channel, Chloe the Chewini, tonight because tonight's important tips have to do with uh, poisonous plants and foods for our pets. And so I haven't been live on Chloe's channel in a while uh, because I've been focusing mostly on this channel. And so I thought I would stream on it tonight as well. And maybe some of my subscribers from that channel will come and subscribe to this one as well. Anyway, I want to welcome Quiet Listener in tonight. Thank you very much for coming. Um, she is a lovely lady I met recently um, that has her own channel called Quiet Listener. She plays the Native American flute and is a very talented person. Hi, Always Loyal, one of my bestie friends. Um, I posted today on my community page about Always Loyal's um, Christian rap she's been writing. She is actually writing the lyrics and the music herself. Um, I believe she has two or three songs out now. And she is working with um, Jordan and Pastor Hank, and they are also making Christian rap music. And that is very... Um, interesting and special and everybody should check her out and as soon as my night bot shows up um quiet listener and always loyal if you'll type hashtag echo in the chat it will drop your links to your channels and we can help each other grow I'm going to give it a few minutes I was over on Stephanie and Joe's channel uh, playing bingo and that just ended and so I'm hoping a few people from there will pop over as well um, I haven't seen my night bot pop on yet so it may take it a minute um, hopefully it's gonna respond to you yes it did okay great good sometimes that um Nightbot takes a few minutes. Yes, I'm on Chloe's and my channel because this topic does um, fit right into um, pets as well. Whoops. I had it on my tablet so I could watch chat over there and um, then I popped it off. Hi, Lisa D. Welcome. Lisa D. is a, a friend um, who likes to play the word game. And um, she and I have been kind of, you know, battling it out over the word game lately. And I love that. Um, thank you for your thumbs up. That is a free way to help the channel out. Oh, no, you're fine. Always, you're fine. We can see you. I can see you in both chats now. I don't know if um, they can see you on real life. I don't think they can see you on real on um, living my best life. I think I just see you because I'm. I have both chats there together. Okay. <laughs> you can be on both of them or you can be on one or the other. It doesn't matter to me. I know you're always here to support me. And that's why I love that name. I'm always loyal, always loyal because you are definitely always loyal. Yes. I think everybody is mainly on uh, living my best life. Um, but you never know, somebody might pop on over to uh, Chloe's channel. Anyway, 
again, like I said, welcome to everyone coming in. Um, I've been trying to come up with topics that would be, you know, relevant to everyone. And um, I love plants. I'm very passionate about my plants. And I also love animals. And I'm very passionate about my dog, Chloe. Um, she is a 10-year-old now, um, Chihuahua Dotson Mix. And I've had her since she was five weeks old. She was just a tiny little baby when I first got her. She fit in the palm of my hand. And uh, I actually got her at five weeks. And she wasn't weaned yet. I had to basically teach her how to drink and eat and the whole nine yards. So she and I bonded very well. And she is my emotional support dog. And she protects me she doesn't let other people get too close and she's a very good listener and I tell her my secrets and uh, she licks my tears away if I cry and she lays beside me in bed when I'm not feeling well funny thing about Chloe is is she can sense when I don't feel well and she will give me extra love. Your fur baby is snoring up a storm. Yes. Um, I don't, I, I always kind of base my opinion of people on how they treat two things, how they treat their parents and how they treat their animals. Um, You know, you should have love and respect for your parents and you should definitely have love and respect for your animals. Oh, wow. Quiet listener. That's quite a while. 18. The vet told me Chloe could live to be 20 or 25. I'm not sure if I, you know, agree with that prediction or not. Um, but like I said, she's 10 years old. Ten and she'll be ten and a half soon. Um, and she runs around here like she is a puppy. Uh, she loves to play with toys. She still has a, you know, and uh, kind of a like to tear up stuff. If she can get a hold of a, a paper wrapper or um, a tissue or a piece of paper towel or anything like that, she will definitely shred it and uh, thoroughly enjoy herself doing so. So I think without further ado, we will um, go ahead and get started with the presentation. It's not very long. Um, of course, it is called Important Life Tips. And there's my fair use disclaimer. This is for entertainment purposes only. And this is plants and foods that are toxic to our pets. And there's Miss Chloe. Always Loyal says, girl, when I got up this morning, I saw where you woke up at three. I was like, I wish I would have been awake like other night when doing hair. I pray you get more rest tonight. Oh, Lisa D got him as a puppy and he's 14 now. Um, I actually took a nap with uh, on East this afternoon. Um, and I actually feel pretty good. I don't feel like I went, you know, I don't know why I woke up, but um, I'm okay from that. So the first one is the snake plant. Snake plants are very good. Um, Yeah, I love Little Lantern, too. She's a, um, a black uh, golden doodle or black doodle, I guess you'd call it. Hey, Cobalt, how are you? Welcome in. Um, snake plants are really good to have in your bedroom. They help with the air purification. Um, it is also called a mother-in-law's tongue plant. There's several different varieties of snake plants. Um but they are, if they are chewed or ingested, they are very poisonous to 
pets. Next one is English Ivy. English Ivy is a pretty durable Ivy. Um, hi, Granny14. Hi, I'm new to your channel. I'm 63, and I'm like you living the be my best life. Okay, Granny14, you are in the right place. Everybody welcome Granny in. Um, tonight we're talking about toxic plants and foods to our fur babies. Um, Colbar Vault, if you want to drop your link, just type um, hashtag echo and it'll drop your link. Uh, Nightbot will drop it for you. Okay, next plant. Ori, Ori, Oriander or, or Oleander. Oleander, I think it's called. Very pretty flowering plant. A lot of people do have them in their yard. Um, just be careful because, again, they are uh, poisonous. Lily of the Valley. That's a very popular flower for in, um, like, bouquets and um, it, it planted out in the yard. Again, very toxic to your pets. Autumn Crocus. These are very beautifully... Um, colored the, these are, have yellow purple and white um, again very toxic quiet listener says I had a mother in law for years but my neighbor had cancer and loved it so I gave it to her oh that's so sweet see I do think people bond over plants <clears throat> plants and pets <clears throat> it's a it's a very um something where most people are passionate about i used to have a black thumb and i couldn't grow and keep anything alive and i would never let my husband give me um cut flowers because i would always say um you know they're just going to die anyway so i would say give me a plant but then i would kill the plant as well so Probably about seven, seven, seven and a half years ago, um, I had met a group of ladies on Facebook. And what they were doing is they were exchanging starts off of plants to help everybody grow their plants. Um, so I didn't have any, and they would have these meetups where they would all exchange plant starts. And I said, well, I don't really have any plants to share, you know, but I'd like to come meet everybody. And I went home that day probably with 10 different plants to start. And I got bit by the plant bug and I've been growing plants ever since. This is rhododendrium, also pretty flower, but deceiving because it is poisonous. And tulips. Tulips are my daughter's favorite flower. Her wedding bouquet was red tulips. Um, usually only get them in the spring and possibly around Mother's Day we'll have them in our local area. But again, don't let your animals get them. They're beautiful, but they are deadly. Um, Lisa D says, my local library is doing that plant exchange. Yes, and if that's a wonderful way to get started on plants without it costing a lot of money. And that way, um, I don't think you feel as bad if you do, if they don't make it, because you haven't invested a lot of money. Quiet Listener said, I just bought her two wigs from Team Mew, also because she is losing her hair. Oh. That's so nice that you're so kind to your neighbor. I love that about you, quiet listener. I knew you were that kind of person. Okay, Miss Always Loyal, have a good Bible study. Thank you for coming. Okay, this is arrowhead plant. I don't know a whole lot about an arrowhead plant. Um, other than that, it is toxic. <laughs> uh, next, we have the ZZ plant. My ex-wife who is my grandbaby's nana 
um, she has this ZZ plant. And the next time I go visit her this summer, I'm bringing me home a star to that because I really like it. Bird of Paradise, one of the most beautiful flowers, but it is toxic. Very much so. Asparagus fern. And no, it doesn't grow actual asparagus. It does, however, grow little tiny berries. And it has um, almost like a thorn or a sticker on the, the leaves. Um, so whenever you do anything with asparagus fern, you should always wear gloves because they will almost like a splinter get in, into your skin. Um, and you don't... Um, plant them by getting a start or by planting the root. They actually have little berries and you take those berries and you dry them and you plant the berries to grow more plants. Um, quiet lister, I'm not sure. Could very well be. Next one is a jade plant. I have a jade plant. Uh, they're very easy to propagate. Uh, if the leaves fall off, you can actually just let them kind of um, callus over on the end and then poke them down into the dirt and they'll grow a whole new plant. Uh, it's a very resilient plant. Um, but again, the leaves do fall off and so a pet could get a hold of one very easily. Aloe vera. Now this one was shocking to me that it's actually toxic because people have been drinking the aloe vera juice for a long time. And we use it, you know, topically on our bodies for cuts and burns and things like that. Uh, but actually if a dog or a cat was to consume enough of it, it could really make a problem and be, you know, considered toxic. Most all of the food and plants that are going to be considered toxic is because it changes the pet's um, digestive system, which will lead to dehydration, diarrhea, um, and all of those things then puts them at a weakened state. This is a Monstera plant. They are beautiful huge, large, they grow very large plants. Um, uh, most people who have a Monstera, they're very proud of their Monstera. It's almost like the centerpiece of their plant collection, um, but they are toxic. Then we have the Chefferilla or umbrella plant. I have this plant. Uh, and I actually was given one of the starts from that group um, quite so many years ago. And it, it was one little stem. <laughs> um, mine's quite large now. And I recently cut it back. And I have some um, rooting up in water right now that I'll be planting um, soon, very soon. Next is called Devil's Ivy or Pothos. This, they call it Devil's Ivy because this plant you hardly can kill. It'll grow pretty much in any um, climate, any situation. Uh, this one has variegated leaves. There's um, all kinds of different um, colors. Um, you know, tech, not textures, but different leaf patterns. Um, and it grows and it grows and it grows and it grows like an ivy as far as it's like a vining plant. But it is also toxic. Well, thank you, Granny14. If you have a channel and you would like to drop your link, just type hashtag echo. And it will, the night bot will drop it. Well, you know, quiet listeners, sometimes um, 
you know, we all can kill something very easily that they say, oh, this is the hardiest plant. You know, it's hard to kill and then I would kill it too. So next is a peace lily. Um, I have a very nice peace lily that I bought for $4.99. Many, many years ago, it was in a little four inch pot. Hi, Roxanne. Roxanne's on vacation right now, visiting family. I miss her. She would be up here with me tonight if she was home. Um, anyway, my piece of lily is about the same size as this one. And I always think of, um, okay, Granny, no problem. I'll drop it for you. But whenever they, um, whenever they, um, have to give a plant for a funeral um a peace lily is always a nice option um and so a lot of times um you know you see a nice big peace lily with lots of um flower white flowers on them and i'll tell you something i did not know about um the flowers, I thought, um, oops, I thought that it just, you know, automatically would bloom more flowers. Well, actually, only the mature plants will grow flowers. And the ones that you buy in the flower shops are basically raised in a hothouse and they are uh, forced to mature and do the um, flowering, you know, because you you hardly ever buy one that doesn't have some flowers on it. But I I didn't understand why, you know, after I had mine for a little while, why I couldn't get it to grow any um, any flowers, and that that was what I found out. So now I know, and I also know that. Um, I have gotten mine to flower again once it did mature. So it's always good to do a little research um, when you, you know, have new plants and things that you don't know much about because you never, um, you want to know. <laughs> Quiet listener says, I also killed a bamboo plant. Oh my goodness. Well, Granny 14, you came to the right place. Um, my friend Norma and I started a channel almost a year ago. Um, and we have had to learn how to navigate stream yards, um, a program we make our videos and, and graphics with called Canva, also just YouTube in general. And so we are always willing to help. And if there's ever any questions that you have, or anything like that. I'm actually thinking about putting together a class on the Canva program because a lot of people have it, but they don't know how to use it uh, to their full advantage. And I can always help you with um, StreamYards and YouTube as well. And I'll be more than happy to help you get your channel going. Next one, Mistletoe, which, you know, I saw Mama kissing Santa Claus under the mistletoe. Yeah, it's poisonous. I didn't know that either. See, a lot of the things I'll bring to my channel are things that surprised me. That I, uh, you know, was like, what? I've lived 60 years and I didn't know these things. And so I figure if I don't know them, there may be other people that it would be interesting to find out about. So this is Chinese evergreen. Doesn't look anything like what we would consider an evergreen, but they are pretty little plants and they are very toxic. All right. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but its common name is corn plant. Um, the leaves do look a lot like a you know, where, how we grow sweet corn down here in the South, you know, and uh, so 
something you might have outside or might be as a potted plant but it is toxic if you let your animals get around it granny 14 said oh thank you that would be wonderful people have asked me to stream but i was kind of afraid to i need to learn Streamyard and that canva yes um will help you oh wow you had a corn plant that got over six feet tall yeah um they're very hardy and they do grow pretty fast but again toxic Philodendrum. Now this one gets confused a lot of times with the pothos because it has the heart-shaped leaves, but they are a totally different um, plant. And they come in many, many varieties. It's also very collectible, the different varieties. Sago palm. I have a Seiko palm that I purchased from a lady um, actually outside of my local grocery store. Her husband had cancer and she was trying to raise money for gas to get him back and forth to his treatments. And so she had several plants she was selling. And at the time, I really didn't have very much money, um, but I felt like it was a good cause. And so I gave her um, what money I had that day, which was about $15 for the Seiko Palm. And it, it proudly is on my patio and uh, I have to walk past it coming in and out that door. And so I think about her and her husband every time I look at that plant and I pray that they're doing well. This one called Flaming Katie. I got this as a start from that plant group uh, and for years it stayed very small didn't really flower and then last summer it went crazy like wildflower you know just like crazy and i have cut it back and i have two new plants growing now um, and they're all blooming so it's doing very well but again poisonous this is the poison, the pet poison helpline number and the ASPCA animal poison control phone number. Um, if you have pets and if you fear that they might get into something, take a minute and write these numbers down. I'm going to leave them on the screen for a few minutes um, and then we're going to get into talking about the poisonous food. My night bot just pulled up about the one year celebration for Real Life Happens channel. That's the channel I started with um, my uh, friend Norma, Norma Kay. You might know her as Norma Kay. Um, anyway, we're having our one year celebration of being on YouTube on May the 13th. It's a Saturday night. It'll be at seven o'clock. And we will stream it on both channels. We're having a huge party and we are doing a giveaway every 15 minutes. So if you're available on May the 13th, we would love to have you come and join us. Um, and I will drop her link so that you can sub up to her channel or our channel. Since I started my own channel, I kind of call that her channel and this my channel. Uh, but it it definitely was a channel that we started together and I can drop Chloe's link and that is my doggies channel there we go okay so we will go on and talk about the poisonous food Isn't that cute little puppy alcohol beer wine hard liquor very poisonous to pets avocados which again we think of as a healthy fat but their digestive system isn't 
made to tolerate it. The caffeine, coffee, and coffee beans, and chocolate, all of those for the same reason, the caffeine. Um, they shouldn't have fat trimmings, which again, messes with their digestive system. And for obvious reasons, they shouldn't have chicken or fish bones because they can become lodged in their throat and cause them a lot of problems. They should not have garlic or onions. And I must say I am guilty of that. Uh, Chloe loves spaghetti. <laughs> and I make my spaghetti with garlic and onions. And for years, uh, especially when I first got divorced and I was basically on my own and uh, I still would make a big old pot of spaghetti. And so Chloe, I would let Chloe eat some with me. And um, then I found out that the garlic and the onions weren't good for her. So I, I don't do that anymore. But uh, I did. I was guilty of that. Gum, junk food, same thing. The sugar content. Uh, and just that they're not made to digest those kind of things. Grapes and raisins. Macadamia nuts. Milk. Mushrooms. Pits and seeds from fruit. And this one kind of surprised me. Potato skins and raw potatoes. So I guess they can have cooked potatoes. I'm thinking maybe the raw potato because it's hard. It would be more of a choking hazard. Um, they should not have an, a large amount of salty foods, tea, or walnuts as well. And they shouldn't have yeast or raw dough or molding foods. And they shouldn't have sugar substitutes, especially the xylitol, uh, because it is very hard on the digestive system. And what happens is it causes their blood sugar to plummet because it, it makes uh, your body produce more insulin, give off more insulin. And in a dog, um, it doesn't take very long for their blood sugar to just bottom out. So you want to keep that away from them as well. So that's all I have on the plants and foods that are toxic to our animals. I hope that your animals are all healthy and remain healthy. Um, nothing worse than having a, set, a sick pet. I don't know why I'm feeling like my camera's making me blurry tonight. Is that okay? Oh, maybe because I don't have my, I don't have my other light on there. There, maybe that's better. Still kind of a glare on my glasses. Okay. Well, you're welcome, Lisa D. Thank you for coming. Um, I like to share information and I know a lot of creators just come on and just talk and tell you what's going on in their lives maybe or, or whatever. And they don't really have a, a program or a presentation to do. I'm not like that. I like to share information. And sometimes it's serious information. Sometimes it's funny information. And sometimes it's just, you know, something like these tips that, you know, I really think everybody needs to know about. I do like to have fun, though. And tomorrow night, Friday, May the 5th, it's Cinco de Mayo. And I will be celebrating Cinco de Mayo with a game night. I've been working today on making the slides for Cinco de Mayo trivia. And if that doesn't go well, we will play the word game or we will find something to get into. Um, but I hope you all will join me tomorrow uh, for that. 
live and also I'll go live Saturday night. I do my own version of weekend update, kind of like from Saturday Night Live's weekend update. I do talk seriously about some things in the news. I don't really care for the news because it's usually bad news or sad news, um, but I like baseball. I support the Atlanta Braves. Um, so I normally will have, you know, some little piece of some news about sports. Uh, I also like to talk about famous people. And if there's a famous person in the news, uh, for some reason, I like to discuss that. And then I do watch the, um, the nightly news with Lester Holt. I usually watch on Saturday, I'll watch what was on Friday night. And if there's any good human interest stories from that or anything like that, I like to talk about those. So that's what I do on Saturday night. Sunday at four o'clock, we have the bingo. Um, we've been having it on my channel the last couple of weeks, but we will be back over on Norma's channel on Real Life Happens uh, after this Sunday. Then on Mondays and Fridays, I play the word game at 7.30 in the morning uh, for a couple of hours. I do have my granddaughter on those mornings, and so it's muted, and I'm not on camera, but I am in the chat, and I love playing that game. And so I will be there playing as much of the game as I can. Uh, oh, and then that brings us to Tuesday evening at 8.30, and that's a segment I do called Did You Know? And that could be anything. It, mostly something, I, you know, interesting that I found interesting that I learned that week, um, and also always a lot of um, life hacks. I love life hacks. Um, so I share information about retirement, saving for retirement. Um, I am going to get into more about the actual like social security. I have a friend who's getting ready in the next couple of years to retire. And, you know, there's a lot to know about how social security is working right now, as far as, you know, how old you need that you are when you retire, they keep changing that age. Also, hey, Miss Edith, how are you doing? Um, they also, you know, I didn't know, um, they look at the past five years or the past three out of the past five years that you worked. And that's how they just determine, hey, Miss Norma, there's my buddy Norma. Um, and that determines how much your social security check is going to be. And, I, you know, I didn't know that. I thought, you know, you pay in for all those years and then they somehow average that out and that's what they give you, but it's not. So I'm going to be doing some work on how that all works um, and what you really need to know about retiring. Now, I'm already on um, Social Security Disability because I had an injury and I was unable to return to work. And because I've been on it, long enough, I also get the um, Medicare. So one day I can tell you all about how that Medicare works and, and how the Medicare, what they call it, a Medicare Advantage plan means, because um, I have some knowledge of that. Oh, and like I said, all about StreamYards, YouTube, uh, Canva, all of that. Um, we've navigated ourselves through it. We've had to learn trial and error. Uh, but, you know, I learn something new every day, especially on between the stream yards and the YouTube. Um, and that's good. You know, you, you need to be learning, constantly learning. And like I said, we'll do some lives about some of that stuff. I do apologize for yawning, y'all. Uh, like always said, I was up at 3.30 this morning. I normally get up at 5 o'clock to go and get my granddaughter. Um, but for some reason, last night, I went to bed about 11.30. And by 
3.30 in the morning, I was wide awake. And uh, so I said, well, let me go live on my phone because I had never gone live uh, from my phone. Back when Norma and I started, we tried one time to go live uh, just straight with YouTube on the phone and it was a total disaster. And so I had never tried since then. And I and people all the time say, you know, oh, well, you can come up on your phone. And I was like, how do they do that? You know, so I said, well, let me um, let me go live on my phone. Yes, Miss Edith was with me the whole time I was on and she talked to me and a Black Widow stopped by. We had a couple of trolls come in, had a few not so nice things to say about me. Uh, but we took it all in good fun and moved right along. And, you know, you, you got to take that with the, um, you had to take the good with, the, you know, the good and the bad together. And that was one thing Norman and I did talk about before we started Real Life Happens. Was that, you know, we know we're old. I know I'm overweight. Um you know, there's not a whole lot somebody's going to say about us that we're, we don't already know. And we have the ability to laugh at ourselves. Um, we, na the name of the channel Real Life Happens came about because every time we would try to do something, um, real life would happen to us. And we would have technical difficulties and all kinds of problems. And so, you know, we would always say, well, you know, that's real life. It's, you know, we're coming to you live and that's real life. And then it just, we had called it um, Life Happens Coffee Shop. And I said, you know, that just doesn't encompass everything we're dealing with here. And so I made the executive decision to change it to Real Life Happens. And uh, that's been that ch channel's name since then. And it's, um, you know, it is a good channel about Real Life Happens. We share our pets on there. We share our kids, our grandkids. We share um, Norma Does Crafts. There's a lot of good plant um, lives on there that I did. There's trivia on there. Um, I did some women's health issue lives. Um, there's just a lot of good information there. I'm trying to to work some of it back in on this channel, but I haven't done a whole lot of it yet. Yes, I was. Miss Edith did tell me that last night that I have a nice, calm, relaxing kind of voice. So, hey, maybe I'll get into making meditation tapes or something. That, you know, they have now where you can make a podcast uh, from YouTube. And um, that would be kind of interesting, you know. Maybe I maybe I'm better at doing a podcast than actually being live in person. I don't know. I'm just having fun, and as long as it's fun and gives me something to do and keeps my mind active, then I'm all for it. I know I can try it. I don't know. I do like to talk, that's for sure. But anyway, anybody have anything they want to share? Anybody want to come up on the panel? Um, everyone is welcome. I'm glad to see as many people in here tonight. Uh, I changed the time because of the bingos that go on on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I had it scheduled at 7, and that was just, you know, running into the bingo. Yes, you can, Quiet Listener. Let me drop a link. Um, and so I backed it up a little bit to where, you know, people could go to the bingo if they wanted to and then come over. Uh, yes, Roxanne. Whoops. <sighs> there we go. Um But like I've always said, I would do my, and let me pin it to the top. Uh, this is the wrong one. Hold on a second. 
but like I always say, I would do my live whether I was the only person in here. Um, just because I, you know, I have fun and I enjoy doing it. Okay, let me pin that link. All right, here we go. Miss Beautiful Victoria coming up. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Good. <laughs> After watching a five-year-old, I'm kind of tired now. Oh, so. I know. Tell me about it. My granddaughter literally drains me. She, I yeah. think she thinks like a jungle gym or something she spends most of her time climbing all over me yeah yeah, I can't see yeah I can't really stand, you know by the time she leaves it's like <sighs> <laughs> i know and my daughter part, she works um she works as a school teacher and um <laughs> she's like you know i'm at school all day dealing with other people's kids and then by the time she you know gets done at work then it's time for her to take her own baby you know and she's like i don't ever get a break you know and i'm like i i feel for you i understand but i've had her all day you know and i'm tired too and so here is miss roxanne Coming Hi. from Hi. somewhere in Florida. Yeah. Hopefully her connection will be good enough she can get up here. She took a plane ride this morning. Yeah. And they gave yeah. me the worst seat She's in the house. She's having trouble. All I saw was a, a engine. I guess oh, you're yeah. up. I guess you're up on there, but on my laptop i don't see you yet i see a black screen but i see on where i'm watching on the other channel i see you're up there there you are okay good so tell us all about the plane ride the worst seat in the house well the video that you sent me i thought it looked like you were like literally on the wing so you didn't have a view but the I wing didn't I didn't have a view. You could see just a little bit of the sky and the big old flap of the wing and the yeah, engine. Yeah, and I thought, surely that's not the flap of the wing that she's trying to show me, but yeah, it definitely Miss Edith, this is Roxanne. She goes by Roxanne59. Um, she also has a channel, and she also does uh, Minecraft um, gaming, and she has a little dog named candy and uh, we have become friends and we're planning a trip to saint augustine Whoa. well i shouldn't say planning it's planned we made our reservations so we are going yeah we're going so if you want to come along we'll be in saint yeah, augustine. Anybody in the in the saint augustine florida area uh, we're going in July. We would love to meet up. We already have one YouTuber that that's why we picked St. Augustine because she lives there uh, that we're going to go and meet Yaya's best life. Uh, so that will be fun to meet her in person. You can play Miss uh, Victoria whenever you get ready. Oh, I didn't want to interrupt. because you know, Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> All right, I'm playing the Cherokee flute tonight because it's so. Oh, bad. okay, got it. All right, on. cool. Oh, I love Cherokee. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry about that.
beautiful. We were, they were just commenting in the chat. I was trying to tell them that it's um, Native American that you do, and it's very peaceful and calming. But for some reason, there we go. Peaceful. <laughs> My thing wasn't working right. Thank you. There we go. I like to play for people. <laughs> well, it's I beautiful. It. I love it. Well, I'll oh. play any time you want me to. So, it for some reason it's telling me that I guess I wasn't my internet wasn't connected for that post or that uh, last comment I just typed. There. Okay. Yes, I will drop her link again. Um, just one second. I'll put the pop out chat so I can actually see the chat. I mean, I can see the StreamYard chat, but I like looking at the pop the YouTube side. So yeah. I do the pop out and pull it over to the side. That way, I can watch. Okay. You know, I don't understand why we can't. That somebody doesn't make it possible, where you could just, you know, make somewhere in here all the links of the people that you would want to drop, and then as they came in, you could just hit a button and it would drop their link. I don't understand why we have to go to the channel, copy the link. You know, <laughs> sometimes it makes it silly. Yes, it does. But that's why I like the, having the night bot be able to do it, you know, too. Now, let's see. Did it drop? Hey, Kristen R. Let me. Oh, you know what? I dropped it in um, Chloe's channel. Hold on. You don't want to go to Chloe's channel to get it. Let me do it. Let me uh, come over here. Back over to my channel. Mm -hmm. There we go. Kristen, my buddy. Come on now. Don't be playing with me. I hope y'all can hear me because I'm having trouble. My com oh yeah, we hear you fine. There we go. Now I got it coming to you. They don't have the best internet, and there's a spirit in my computer tonight. It keeps typing something. Oh no! It was typing and I wasn't typing, so I don't know Ooh. if it's a spirit or uh, what. I put up a new screen. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, she has a wolf. <laughs> That's what I want to learn how to do is put backgrounds. Yeah, this is a, yeah, it is a free app. Um, the best suggestion I can tell you is get to know Devil Dog is the name of the channel. He's the gentleman that um, actually helped me to have the set up the OBS. I he had me download um oh uh what is it called? It is called Team Viewer and then that way he had control and he could just download it for me and walk me through how to add videos and stuff to it. So well, I have OBS, but I didn't yes, know you could do OBS, but. Okay, the, um, then you need, um, probably you need, uh, what is like it, the, uh, the app, the free screen. app that you can download the videos from. That works with OBS. I'll have to see. Okay. Okay, I, in, give me just a second here. I'm trying to um, put another wolf one a better one and then i will go over and tell you the app that um i get my my pictures from here uh 
Because sometimes that would be like, better than seeing the background of your house. Yes. And, you know, uh, YouTube only has a couple, or StreamYard only has a couple, and it's weird because it's it, like, cuts you out. It puts the background behind you, but then it makes it like you're... Um, if you move or anything, it's weird behind you and stuff. I didn't like it. Well, if you don't set up the um, your camera view in it, like like if you look oh, right over here, you can kind of see a little bit of um, yeah, just but it's really bad on the on Streamyards on that. Yeah, it, you got to have a really good lighting um, to do it. Mm -hmm. And you got to uh, be able to adjust it, you know, so that um, it works for you. Uh, I'm trying to, I, for some reason, I can't move my picture here. I'm trying to move it over and it doesn't want to let me. Let's see. Okay, there we go. I want to move it over so y'all see the wolf. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now the wolf's showing. So um, let me go. I got to open a new tab and I will tell you exactly the app you want to go to. It's called, uh, well, let's see if I can share it with you here. And then you'll see exactly the app. Share screen. There it is. Okay, here is the app. It's in your basement um, down there. Echo. In my back cat, you mean? It's down in the basement. You know, you bring it up just the same way you would oh, bring up your Rivet. Um, in Roxanne. Washington. It is uh, Echo still. It's down here where you bring us up. You just yeah, got to get back cat. Well, I must be crazy because I certainly don't see what you're talking about. Oh, now it's there. now it's yeah. There. It was it yeah. wasn't there a minute ago. It took it took okay. a minute to. Uh, um. To anyway, so let me go up here. So it's called. Um, let me see. Will it come in? Hmm. Not gonna. Let's see. Now it's uh, Pixabay. It's called Pixabay. Now, when you go into it, um, like, let me pick one here. Oh, no. Let me see. When you go into certain ones, let me see. I got to find videos. Uh, let's say I'll, I'll go to Forest just, just for. Now, these two cost money. So, what you got to do is when you want to find the free ones, all of these down here are free. And then if you keep scrolling, down at the very bottom is, is paid ones again. But see, this is just the forest, and you they go on and on. So here's the next page. See again at the top, these are the paid ones that you have to pay for. But if you just hold, go, hold on a second. I'm trying to share the screen so we can all see it. And my okay. computer's being stupid. So give me just a second. Okay. Well. Oh, it went away. <laughs> okay. So um, these top ones not. here cost money. It says yeah. limited deal, 20% off. With So you don't want to go into those ones because those ones will cost you one um, money. But like um, these ones down here, I'm um, going to tap on this one, for instance. Then you tap on it and you go over here and it says free download. You just, um, I'm going to download it. You download it. And then see down here at the bottom, it will <clears throat> download. And then you go here and it says show in folder. So now I'm in my folders and here's the picture I just downloaded. I'm going to move it 
over into my pictures. So now it is, if I go to my pictures, let's see, <laughs> um, picture, if I go to my picture file, now here's all of the ones that I, I downloaded. And right here's the one that you just saw me download. So it's that easy to do. If you've got the OBS, you can easily get these pictures. And like I said, you have a lot of choices. See, I can scroll and scroll and scroll. and um, But there are certain things like um, I would like to find. There we go. Well, it, I'm sorry. And it's still not up on mine, but I see it. But wow. if you um, a lot of pretty pictures, yeah. huh? Right, and they're all moving pictures. Like you know, here's the waterfall and stream, and you can hit waterfall if you're, you're interested in waterfalls or rivers. Oh, I love it. Um, over here, you can go to trees or woods. See, if I go to woods, you want to go past these two top ones because those cost money, and then you go below it. And here's all the choices you've got again. Now, mm -hmm. each time down here at the bottom, if you want to change what you're looking for, say you want to look for mountains or you want to look sky, hills, so on and so forth, um, it gives you options so you can go and you can find pictures of Scotland, you know, um, birch, autumn, trees. So it goes, it just, it really does go on and on. Here's one of them that's in my file right here that I've already got downloaded. And it's just like you're walking through the woods. Yeah. But they all are moving pictures. So here's, you know, they all move. And yeah. when you're setting it up in your OBS, um, you can, you know, you can set it up to loop so that it'll continue and you want to hit that loop because if you don't loop it's going to just go black and then you're going to have to go back into your obs set up a new one you know so um you pick let me let me open my obs so i can show you what i'm talking about and i'll share it I'm with you gonna say, do you um stream from obs or from Streamyard? Um, I'm streaming from StreamYard, but I'm using okay. my OBS, my yeah. camera, and everything. Yeah. Let me see if I can. Okay, I think this is it. Share. We're gonna yeah, have to okay. figure that out. So I, here, can't, I can't do anything right now. My, if you go in the basement, I can explain OBS to people, and this app is also free. So I, I put it down there in your again in your basement uh oh she knocked herself off come back echo <laughs> echo 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 where'd you go but i can't download it won't let me so i don't know if it's my side her side or my daughter my daughter's house you know well i hope she'll be able to get back on here oh she will she'll come in she knocked herself off She'll come back, but I've been seeing that on other people's, and I didn't know how they did it. There is right. something you can get a green screen, right? And you just gotta have a green screen to do it. See, and I don't you, either. It, now, somebody went and got green material at the, uh, and you know hung it up. It don't come in as clear and crisp. It might work, kind of, but um, I tried to do that with a green sheet and right. it did not work out for me so okay. i it's not that expensive to buy a green screen i nice. have a green screen um and the stand here she comes maybe she's buffering yeah um but i you know you can you can find them pretty cheap if you go to apps like ebay wish or even, hello, there you are. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I'm having so much trouble with my computer. I don't know what its problem is. And yes, Norma says Echo does that all the time. Um, I, I still got it down there if you want me to explain it to people. Okay, let me see if I can get it up there this time. 
gosh. I hate when I when that happens. Okay, so here's OBS. Let me go over to it. I can't see the screen right now because I'm going to explain OBS. Okay. Now, this is where you want to put your pictures. Um, let me see. It, that little share screen is in my way. Okay, you go to the source here. And right here is a little X. If you hit the X and then you go to media source right here, you hit that and then you give your, you got to hit create new and then you give your video that you're going to bring up a name. I'm going to put deer because I'm going to bring up a deer one real quick for you. Okay. So after you type that in, you hit okay. Now, right here is where you hit loop, and you can loop it. Now, you can speed this up or slow it down. Um, normally, I'll leave it at the speed they got, but sometimes I will slow it down if, if it's like a transition one going from night to day kind of a video. But since I'm just doing the deer, I'm going to leave the speed where it's at. And then you go over here and you hit browse. Now, when I hit the browse, it brings up my folder. And I can go here and look at uh, the folders. And since I'm doing deer, I'll hit this one. And then you hit that. And, and so that file is now implanted in there. And you hit OK. Now, here's my deer. So you're going to have this orange bar. And you've got to downsize that orange bar to where it's correct. You don't have all all of that stuff around it. You want it to be perfect right there. So, and then you go over here in your source area and here's the deer video. You hit the lock so it's locked into place. And you take it, you grab it, and you drag it down. Now, here I am. So, you know, um, until you do that, you're not going to see you. You have to drag it down. You always want to have your camera at the very top so that you'll be able to see the background. And um, so let me get rid of the wolves. Now here's the deer that I just um, shared with you guys. Yeah. So, it, you know, it's, it's really easy to do. And it's um, OBS. Um, here's the information at the top of the screen. Um, YouTube. It's HTTP YouTube. And then here's a code. Now, um, I think uh, if, you, if somebody is interested in this free version, let me know. Or, or you could... Um, if you're on Facebook, Facebook friend me because I I like to communicate through the messenger. So if you Facebook message me, friend me in Facebook, and then I can I can send you this link. I can go here and send you this link here at the top, and then that way you can download the free version of OBS yourself. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah, I hope that helped, and I'm going to stop sharing now. So. Yeah, when I get back home, I can do that because I can't do it here. Right, um, but uh, I don't know the actual name of the app, So, but I do have that link up there that I can... Uh-oh, we lost Roxanne. Uh-oh. Okay, wait, she's still here. Yeah. <laughs> she put you Sorry. in the basement. I put you in the basement. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I thought it was a back door. It's backstage. But yeah, there you are. But see, that makes your channel, to me, it makes your channel unique because you're the first person I've seen that's had the different backgrounds like that. Yeah. And you, I'm know? Not, you know, on my old channel, I seen somebody else that had it. And I was yeah. like, how are they doing that? And so I started actually asking questions. And right. I, people would try to explain it. I'm like, 
too much info, too much info. <laughs> Cannot compute, <laughs> you know. Uh, I need somebody to actually walk me through it and help me do it. Right. And uh, and so, the, yeah, that's why I was saying uh, if you guys don't have this gentleman named Devil Dog. Devil um, Dog. Okay, I've I wrote the Devil Dog, but I don't have him. Yeah. He I is an awesome guy, and if you tell him, hey, I'm having problems or, you know, could you help me, <laughs> he usually will. You know, he's out. He's a good guy. He likes to help people. Okay. It, um, okay. And just tell him, I told you about him, you know. Um, so, yeah, he can use friends, too. He's still trying to build and grow, too, even though. He's doing pretty uh, awesome. Um, yeah. yeah, it's it's devil dog and it's all together. So don't separate the two words. They're together. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. And his name is Eddie. And his wife's name is Jamie. And her channel is Devil Dog's Keeper. <laughs> <laughs> and funny. she's the one that made my stickers for my new channel for me. So, if you guys, um, I, I've never, I don't know that I, I've said this to you, Rebecca, um, Roxanne, or Echo. If you want one of my stickers for my new channel, okay. then this is my new channel sticker. Just oh, cool. email me, email me. It's on my about page, and I'll send you one. This is my old channel. Okay, it was Victoria May Life Unfiltered. And this was my sticker for it because that was my dream. You yeah. know, to own. It's, it's a, called an Egypt Mobility Scooter. And that's a bicycle camper behind it. That oh, you pull wow. a bicycle. <laughs> and <laughs> that, so that was my dream. And um, I'll explain real quick if it's okay. How mm -hmm. I lost my channel was I went, when I first started my channel, well, not first. I, I had been doing it for a long time. And then I wasn't growing. So I wanted to add interest even then to that channel. And I went to a channel called TikTok Countdown Timers. And I in the chat, I asked the gentleman, I said, can I use your, your timers as a lead in to my lives? Because, you know, I really like your timers. And he said, sure, thank you for asking. Um, so I started using the guy's timers for years in my lives. He never, after about a year of using it, he never got, got a hold of me and said, I don't want you to use them anymore. Could you please take them down? He didn't give me any options, okay? Me and my husband were sick for a couple weeks with, you know the sea for and when i came back i got on the computer and i realized i only have one day to deal with the situation the guy had i i went to my email and i saw i had nine strikes on my channel from this guy gave me nine strikes on the timers that i had used that he could so i went to his channel i highlighted what where I asked him the question and he said, sure. And I sent that to YouTube. Their response was he has the right to change his mind and you can always go to court and fight it. You can hire a lawyer and go to court and fight it. I'm on disability. I can't afford a. Exactly. So um, I tried to deal with it and I tried to download as many as I could of my old channel. I, and the next morning I thought, okay, they had sent like this class type thing um, that you had to go through and it was late at that time. So I thought, okay, well, I'll finish it tomorrow. And I closed everything down. I came back the next day and I was blocked from YouTube. I couldn't even chat. I couldn't like on nobody's video, nothing. And Google, it was both Google and YouTube both blocked my old channel so that I couldn't do anything. So I had to reinvent 
all over again. And I was at 1,048 friends at that time. And I was only 200 hours from being monetized when that happened to me. So now I'm redoing it. I My old channel used to be karaoke and just a, a peaceful hangout. And this time it's it's just about my flute playing, my storytelling, and again a peaceful hangout. <laughs> right, and I and uh, you you need to do karaoke. I used to, I used to do karaoke on the old channel. I yeah. don't on my new channel because um, I kept getting copyright claims and. It was a real hassle because I was being told I had to clip out people that had come up on my panel and sang. I guess they sang too good. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, it just, it was a lot of hassle doing the karaoke. Some people, and, and I was trying to be monetized. So all of those hours meant something to me mm -hmm. at the time to try right. to get monetized. And you don't get monetized on the ones that they put claims. Right. You don't you don't get the hours, you don't get nothing from those. Yeah. So it wasn't worth it to me this time. I decided it's not worth it. You know, I the videos I put out, I put out because I need those hours. I need to build my channel and I need, and I really want it to be solely me, you know. And so I'm really careful what I use. I will only use what, you know, like the backgrounds. I could go to YouTube and try to find, um, what is it called? There's videos in there that's called, um, that, that are free use, fair, fair use. Uh -huh. so there's a name for it, mm -hmm. but it's not always true. Those people, there are people that are so cruel that they'll put the, that stuff on there and then they'll say fair use and they, no copyright claims, no this and that on there. Then you go to use them and you get copyright claims. Yeah. Um, I had used one prior here in this channel and I went on somebody's live and they got a copyright claim and it was supposed to be fair use, you know, and no claims on it and all of that. Right. Yet, I you had it going behind me, went up on the person's panel, they got a claim. So you, you can't always trust what's said when you're searching in through the YouTube. But but I you know the way you do that is you have to have a download program, which I do um it's called a tube catcher and you can download videos into the a tube catcher they go also into your files and then you can use it the same way but but it's a risk because like i said not everybody in youtube tells the truth right and sometimes they're just <laughs> out to cause trouble and so when they they like i said i'm telling you from experience i have used videos in that way that has had said there was no claims and it was fair use and then there was so yeah yeah that's the one thing my computer is still acting crazy on these comments um that's the thing that um I had to learn real quick about YouTube because the kind of person that I am, if I tell you something, I, you know, my word means something to me. And if I tell you I'm going to do something, then I'm going to do it unless, you yeah. know, actual disaster stops me and I will communicate with you that, you know, there is a reason why I can't do it. But I, I, I would just tell somebody something that you know just to i don't i don't even understand why these people lie half the time they lie about stupid stuff that doesn't make that's any sense. fun to them i don't know i don't either but to them that's fun that's yeah I, I i just i don't i don't really understand 
Um, I don't either. Well, I, I remember I, when a shake of the hand was good, you right. know, and if I am the kind the same way, Echo, if you, if somebody tells me something, I expect them to do what they tell me, you know, and I am let down a lot anymore because mm -hmm. I've had people tell me things and then I'm sitting there waiting for this thing to happen and nothing happened. And when you do that to me, then I ain't going to believe you the next time you tell me something. Well, just, and, and this is the thing when they tell like, and it's not even so much that they lie in the first place, but they tell you something and you take that to be the truth. And mm -hmm. then later on, they forget that that's what they told you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, they conveniently forget, oh, I don't remember that, or I, I don't know what you're talking about, or what, you know, and then that tries, they try to make you out to be like, you're telling a story on them, you know, right, and I guess that's why Norma and I, we clicked so fast, because we both saw other people in the group that we were within, we saw other people doing these things to each other, and we were like, you know, that's not what we're looking for at all, you know. And so we yeah. became friends within that group. And so then she wanted to start the channel. She wanted to do a craft channel. Excuse me. And um, she said, I really want to do my own channel, but I don't know anything about YouTube. I don't know anything about, you know, how to go about doing it or anything. And I said, well, Norma, I don't know either because we both had come started watching YouTube because of some true crime cases we were interested in, but we knew nothing about how YouTube worked or anything. And I said, you know, I don't know anything about it either, but you know, yeah. Um, but that, you know, we could figure it out together. You know, I would be more than happy to help her any way I could. And I would research and, you know, do whatever we needed to do. And so we started out, you know, but it was like, I don't think she believed me 100% until we started actually doing stuff, you know, because it's like, it's easy to talk about doing something, but to actually do it. And I yeah. think I go more on your actions. You know, if a person tells me they're going to do something and they do it, I tend to believe that person more than just somebody who talks a lot, but doesn't follow through. You know. Yeah, see that, and I'm the, like I said, I'm exactly the same way. It's like when I did my birthday live, a lot of people was like, "I'm gonna send you this, and I'm gonna send you that, and, da, da, da. and I'm sitting here going, "That's awesome," but in in the back, because because of people not really doing what they've said to me for me so much in, in right. the back of my mind I tell myself I'm not gonna believe it until I see it mm -hmm. because, exactly. and, and you yeah. know what it's a good thing that I'm that way because I did not get the things that these people said oh I'm gonna send you this and that for your birthday they never sent it you know so yeah. right I just become to where you know no I don't I don't expect anybody to do to do anything for me i've always done you know, they tell you if you have if you don't have an expectation you can't be disappointed exactly and, you know? and i've left myself you know that's that was a lesson that i've learned growing up you know right is too many letdowns and and now i'm an older lady and it's like i've learned my lesson it's i don't expect anything from anybody if I want something, I'll get it for myself, you know, because people can tell you anything. And, you know, it's like I told you, I tried to get um, my friend, my a few of my friends actually encouraged me to go on GoFundMe because I've got degenerative arthritis and I can't walk very far on, you know, and some days I can't walk at all. I have to use my crutches mm -hmm. to, you know, walk. I have to roll out of my bed, get down on my knees on the floor, and then use my bed to pick myself up. 
And so I don't drive. I've never had a driver's license in my life. I have drove a little bit in parking lots, but I have a, a serious panic anxiety issue <laughs> with getting behind a wheel. So I, I've always wanted one of those enclosed mobility scooters like what you saw on the sticker. Mm -hmm. And so some friends of mine said, why don't you try GoFundMe? I put a GoFundMe up there and I left it up there for a little more than a year. And you know, not one person offered to help, not one. So I took it down after over a year of it being up there. I took it down mm -hmm. and I thought, okay, well, for one, it wasn't meant to be. And for two, if I can't get it myself, then I guess I just don't have it. And I don't be, mean to be sounding like a negative Nelly, but, you know, the world has gotten a lot worse. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's going to be a lot worse if, you, if you're biblical at all. Oh, yeah. Read Revelations. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is it's, it's definitely headed... Um, it says it's going to be like childbirth. Day day it's getting it's, worse uh, it's, and worse, you know. Yeah, it's going to be like labor pains. We are in mm -hmm. the beginnings of those labor pains, those few little aches mm -hmm. and pains from the labor. Well, by the end of that labor, by the end of it, by revelation standards, we can't grasp in our minds how bad it's actually going to get yeah and people you know they put these movies out about the rapture which has led people to believe that people are going to just up and disappear and i've had people go well what about um one man two men are in a field and one man disappears that part of the bible i don't know it quote for quote i do know the bible but I don't know it word for word in chapter. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, Jesus said he's going to gather up his people and those in the grave when he comes. The people from the graves and his people will raise up and go into the heavens with him. That's the rapture. That's the truth about the rapture. But there are going to be some left behind that even are God's people. You know, maybe God needs to know. This is just my opinion. Maybe God needs to know those people truly are loyal. So maybe those people have to prove to God <clears throat> that they are willing to continue following him, that they're not going to cave in and give in to the other side so he might leave some people to be tested in my opinion and if i'm tested so be it if i am here when when it really gets bad guess what i'm staying loyal i've made it through a lot of bad things yes i know i'm not even grasping how bad it's going to be but I'm sure God will stick with me when he sees that I'm really trying to stick with him. Right. And when I'm calling out to him going, Lord, help me. <laughs> because believe me, I will be. <laughs> right. And, and that's one of the things I had to teach my daughter when she was, you know, just a little girl. That not everybody thinks the way we think. Not everybody has been raised with the in the background and the knowledge that we have. And sometimes people will do things that hurt you or hurt your feelings, but you can't take it personal and you can't get upset with them because they just don't know any better sometimes, you know. And yeah. so she's like, but then why, you know, why do you give people so many chances, you know, to hurt you like that? And it's like, because yeah. that's what... I, how I've been raised to do, you know. Well, for Just one, Jesus it. says, if somebody hits you, turn, turn your other key. Exactly. You know, yeah. it's not it's not for us to take out punishment oh. on the other person or 
you know, feel like there's uh, something we should do to them or whatever, you know, they're going to have to answer to God about it. Right. Not me. We're you not know? supposed to judge. Right. And that's exactly. judgment when you do that. We aren't supposed to be the judges. We're supposed to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And even our enemies. He says we are supposed to love our enemies regardless. That's to pray right. for them. You pray for them. And you just keep. Well, keep and and I'll, give, I'll give you a perfect example. My husband and I. He after 29 years of marriage. He up and left. Okay. Oh. Uh, and, you know, had a cockamamie story and everything. But anyway, it was because he had met somebody else. And he had met that person on the internet. Uh, well, I could have very easily been like, I hate her, you know. But it, it wasn't her if it wasn't him. You know what I'm saying? He did whatever he did. Exactly. She did what he did. But she couldn't have done it without him, you know, doing what he did. Yeah. So, when it came down to it that uh, my daughter was expecting a baby and that was going to be our first grandchild, you know, I wanted my ex to experience being a grandfather and I didn't want to be the, the reason that my daughter didn't have a good relationship with him or that, you know, he wasn't involved with the baby. Well, come to find out the lady that he left me for he ended up marrying her and she had never had any children. She couldn't have children. And yeah. so by her marrying him, it was like now she has a stepdaughter who's my daughter. And now that the baby was coming, it was going to give her a chance to be a grandparent. Right. So I decided, look, I have to reach out to them and I have to let them know I'm open to us co-grandparenting and co-parenting my daughter, but mainly co-parenting my granddaughter. So yeah. we go there on vacation. They come here. I send them pictures, videos. Um, if she does a coloring page, I'll put it in a card and mail it to them. You know, whatever I can do to try to facilitate them having that relationship with my granddaughter. Because yeah. it helps my daughter and my granddaughter. At first, did I particularly like having to see him and see him with her and, you know, but she That's and I have cool. become, you know, she and I have become like best friends because <laughs> there's things that, you know, she's had questions about him and being that I was his ex, I was able to help her, you know, answer yeah. those questions. So it's like, I feel like I'm going to spend time with my good friend. And yeah, I'll have to see him, but it's not, it won't kill me, you know. But then yeah. when I see him with my granddaughter and I see the love that they have in the relationship that they have, I'm so thankful that I didn't stay bitter and be, you know, like, no, I'm going to make this hard. I'm going to make them have to, you know, fight for holiday yeah. time and this and that, you know. Yeah. And I've been like, it hurts, no, you know, being that way, don't hurt them. It hurts you. Right. And and I don't want my daughter to ever look back and say, well, I missed out on all this because you wouldn't bend, you know, and she can't do that. And but I get a lot out of it, too. I thoroughly enjoy my granddaughter having them in her life and vice yeah. versa. Um, but a lot of people are like, I don't know how you do that. You know, after he left you so devastating and everything, you know, how can you be friends with her? And it's like, but what happened to me wasn't her fault yeah she did, exactly. you know it wasn't like my husband wasn't interested and she persuaded him to leave you know he was looking or he wouldn't have found her so you know right exactly there again he'll pay for what he's done yeah. i don't pay for it you know yeah exactly so, you're not judging him you're just no. And, and also, I've never told him, look, I think it's great you left me and married somebody else, you know. But I have told her that if I had to pick somebody for him to be with, I couldn't have picked a better person for him, you know, in her. But I would never, uh, it's not my place to judge either one of them or what they what happened, you know. 
Lisa D said, Roxanne and I talked about how we pray those mean people. Right, Roxanne? Oh, you pray for the mean people? I do too, actually, at night. Yeah. I put the, I put the prayers in there for people that have hurt my channel or say, you know, bad things about me on on here um, or just have turned their backs on me. I pray for them and I pray that he, God will help me to rebuild the relationships regardless. You know. he, and he will. And, and I think sometimes he, as much as they say he puts people in your life or brings people in your life, he also takes people out of your life that yeah. maybe you can't see are holding you back or, or hurting you. But, and you would never, like I would have never walked away from my marriage. Never. Yeah. But maybe God knew that was what I needed to do. And so he helped facilitate that, you know. So yeah. I, I don't I don't question anything. I've had a lot of horrible, horrible things happen in my life, but they made me who I am who I am now, you know. Yeah. So I wouldn't go back and change any of it. And it's like they say you don't know how strong you are until you don't have any other choice but to be strong. Well, I can't yeah. say that I wouldn't go back and change any of it. <laughs> I mean, uh I don't wanna it's really hard for me to talk about my growing up your life, but it was really, really, really bad. Yeah. Um, and bad things happened, and I saw bad things happen to the point of I left home at 12 years old. Oh, my Lord. And I lived homeless from the age of 12 years old until I was 21 when somebody finally explained to me that I could get disability and then I was that helped me to <clears throat> become stable and secure and safe and changed my life immensely it was the best it. gift that that person gave me and it was a truck driver <clears throat> that was a very nice person out of a lot of very unnice people I met through that life I met one that was, I called him my angel because he took me to his little tiny studio house, let me sleep on his sofa, explained to me how to get on disability and he changed my life. And he went back on the road and I moved on with my life and I never saw that gentleman again. I did go back and leave a thank you note under his door <laughs> and told him how much I appreciated him and that I hoped he had an awesome life. And that was where that it changed my life was just to have that little bit of income to get a place and get off the road and get stable and yeah. secure. It really made a big difference. But um, my, my growing up life was so bad that I left home at 12. The first time I tried to run away, I was 10. Um, it was that bad. I uh, seen my father do things. I have memory blocks from things. I'll just oh, put I it have, I, I have a lot of blocked memories too. And it's yeah. weird how um, you tell yourself something that's easier to handle than the truth and after telling yourself that for so long i think i've never done that are, but i've been to the the memories are there because i can i can bring mine out sometimes i can't um They're but gone. it's not uh somewhere i want to go i'll put it that way. right i um when I was younger, I went to therapists and they said that it was what had happened was so traumatic that I put memory blocks up mm -hmm. and it's completely blocked. I, I don't have PTSD, um, not about those things. I do 
have PTSD about some things from my past. Right. Um, but some things were so traumatic that I can't. And I can't be hypnotized because they tried, they tried to hypnotize me to bring out stuff. Yeah. And I can't be hypnotized because they said I'm too analytical. I will think about every single thing they say so much that I, <laughs> it don't work for me to be hypnotized. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to go to quit smoking, uh, get hypnotized to quit smoking. And it also didn't work because, like I said, I, I'm so analytical that I couldn't relax and just go with it. I had to I think about every single thing <laughs> that the guy was saying. I, my mind was nonstop, you know, so, yeah. But anyway, that's a gloom and gloom. <laughs> Well, don't worry about it. We talk about anything and everything. And, and that's one thing I always say that sometimes the the conversation will come out when you least expect it. But that's when you needed to, to do it. So, so how about I play fun. something relaxing to change? That? that sounds great. All right. Give me just a second. <laughs> You got to hear this comment when you get done. Well, you got lots of love in the in the chat. Yeah. Thank you. Lisa said, um, well, let me see if I can find it now. Edith said, I've got tears. Musical music, you're amazing. And, and Lisa D said, um, well, God sent you that angel to save your life and look at you now. You're healing others with your beautiful music. Hashtag echo, right? Yep. Okay. Well, I just dropped my link, y'all. Please think about coming over and checking out my channel. I'm still trying to grow. So I would appreciate all the friends that I can make. And, you know, uh -huh. I like I like making friendships that go beyond YouTube. I That's why I, I'm always suggesting 
if you really want to move on beyond YouTube as a friend with me, go to Facebook, friend me. That way we can chit chat and messenger privately. And is it is it under quiet listener or it's under Victoria? Yeah, it's exactly under the same okay. as as here. And um, the photo that you'll find <coughs> is my dog. It's okay. let's see if I can do this. Oh, there's my little guy. So it's a photo of him. Oh, a little chihuahua. Well, he's a chorky. He's a Chihuahua Yorkie mix. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, let me go to Facebook right now and see if I can find you. Yeah. And then that way, you know, like I said, I like building long term friendships. Um, I thought that I had done that a few times and I've never figured it out. When I first meet people, <clears throat> it's like a honeymoon stage. And they'll they'll talk to me almost every single day, just constantly. Right. And then after a while, it's every once in a while I talk yeah. to them. And then it's a long time before I talk to them. And then pretty soon I'm not talking to them at all. And I I am not figuring out what I'm doing wrong because it can't always be somebody else. It's got to be something I'm doing. That, that is the picture of your dog has long, longish hair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's kind of golden looking in that picture. He was much younger, and the light was hitting him different. Okay. Well, hopefully, I just added you. Let's see if I can. Oh, let me go over there. I'm going to go to Facebook here, and I'm going to see. Uh. Echo Curtis. Oh, oh it's okay. Echo, so stop. No Echo, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was so funny the other night. I was like, she knows my name. I haven't even said my name. <laughs> We're now friends. <laughs> no, it's my machine. It's a, it's a, a dot. <laughs> I don't want to say the first yeah, word. Don't, don't say it. There we go. All right. Now we're connected on Facebook. I also have a Facebook group for my channel called Real Life. Um, there's Life Happens Coffee Shop, which is for the channel Norman I started. And then I have Living My Best Life at 60. But we both have on Facebook. Okay. Well, now that we're friends, you can just send me that link and, and I'll yeah. get it. And see, that's that's the thing. I like friendships to go beyond, and for years. I mean, I like I said, I've got other friends that I've done that with, but I feel kind of sad because okay. I haven't talked to. Well, there's two of them. One I called my sister from another Mister, and and her name, her channel used to be Chatty Kathy, and we were friends. For more than five years now and used to talk all the time now i hardly ever get to talk to her i've tried um and then my other friend millie was rv weekends her and her husband james and i used to talk to her all the time but it's been a long time since i've talked to her too and now i've got another friend a cherokee friend named Sarah and she her channel is Alley Cat's Prepared Life. Uh, she does prepping and stuff. And I still talk to her I uh, more often um, than any of the other two, but even her and I don't talk as much anymore as we used to. So it's just like uh, Yeah, I I totally get that. I have um two friends that I'm very close to. One, I've been friends with over 30 years. Um, but our friendship is unlike any other friendship I've ever had. Um, we are, we consider each other sisters, but we're not where we have to talk to each other all the time. Yeah. But 
whenever we do talk, it's like we, we haven't missed any time, you know? Yeah, and that's how, we, how it is with we me. Do and my to, we do try to get together at least once a month, but we do, we live maybe 30, 40 miles apart, you know, but we're both getting older and we both, you know, have medical issues and, you know, sometimes it just makes that, you know, hard to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But she knows me. She's the oldest friend, you know, longest friendship I have. And she's the one person I don't have to watch what I say or how I say it. it you know, she's not going to get offended if I say something flippant to her or something, you know, she'll know yeah. I'm just having kind of day or whatever, you know. Um, yeah. And then I have a friend who lives about 40 miles the other direction from me. Um, and she's older than I am, but she's still working. Um, but we um, met and we connected right off the bat. And I feel like I've known her my whole life, but I haven't. I've only probably yeah. known um, about seven or eight years. Um, but I make friends pretty easily. But in too. a way, I'm like you that I get disappointed pretty easily, too. You know, yeah. so that's. Um, and my husband tells me. I give out too much about myself, you know, because, you know, like the, um, I've had friends that have asked me about my past and when it becomes a private conversation and I'm trying to build that friendship, if the, I'm approached with questions, I will answer them quickly and honestly. And some people, it's really hard to hear the, the the things that I have had going on in my life and right. so my husband tells me a lot of time you tell too much you just you talk too much <laughs> about about things hey, and then I, a lot of the time it, it's like I love you and you know people will tell me I love you and and then I'm I love you back because they said they loved me, and so I'm like I love you back. And my husband, he's like, why do you do that? Why do you do that? You don't even tell me you love me that much. <laughs> but uh, Sarah, I call her my Dola, which is Cheyenne for sister. So okay, um, Lisa D, I cannot. I don't know which one of these is you. Because there's a whole bunch of Lisa. So. Um, oh, Bellevue. Hello. Hello, Gary. I didn't see you. Oh, wait. Just from now. This actually yeah. might look like you. Um, I'm not well, seeing them in the YouTube side. Only. It's, uh, he's coming through um, Roxanne's side. That oh, okay. Like yeah yeah okay but lisa davis uh there's like on my facebook at least there's a whole bunch of lisa davises is there more information that uh for, that i could find you yeah they're co-streaming yeah, um, co they're co-streaming gary let me go open a new tab uh go into youtube I'm gonna Bell open. Room. How Rock do I know Center. you? I'm gonna go to Rock Belt Center. Loop. Belt Loop. Um. Oh, oh, oh. Quiet listener, Lisa Davis wants you to friend her on Facebook. Okay, I was trying to find her, but I don't see which one she is because oh. there's a lot of them here. Okay, well, oh, let me see. Hold on, let me um. I'm trying to look up Roxanne's page because I didn't get a pop-up for some reason. On Facebook, it's not Roxanne. Or I'm, I'm not, not on YouTube. Yes, <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find yes. your channel, but for some reason, I didn't get a pop-up, which I was hoping I, I would get the pop-up, but let me. Can you type something, please, in the in the chats oh it's not going to show up unless you come over here to echoes uh i was going to give uh eddie there we go i found julie 
Yeah, I was going to drop your link in Roxanne's so that Eddie can pick you up if he chooses and come over to your page. Uh, uh. So or, I just called Gary Eddie. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, Gary. <laughs> Lord Caleb. See, my mind, yeah. my, that's one of my problems is my mind goes faster than, or my mouth goes faster. I don't know, but it all goes pretty fast. And so I get all jumbled. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've seen Belt Loop 29. He's f friends with Cobalt. That and was he's also room. friends with Devil Dog, which I was telling you about. Okay. He, okay. If you go to Gary's channel, I'm sure if you go into his channels, you'll find Devil Dog there. And you probably will find Devil Dog's keeper, Jamie, who is the lady that makes the stickers I showed you. I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I know who I'm talking to. <laughs> um, Roxanne, did you type all that about golf and gay pride and where I is that? Now she's muted too. What gay? I'm a computer in. Let me go over to the, I'm going to check and make sure that, no, I don't have, oh, I'm not, I don't have a wrench, so I can't. I was going to check and see if that really was her saying that. Well, she said she was having have... trouble with her computer earlier, but it was Somebody typing. Somebody is doing it. something for me, and I don't know what it is. Um, If you'll give me a wrench, I'll go check it out. Look. Okay. Well, you need a wrench on her channel or my channel? Probably her on yours. Channel. I on yours. I need a wrench right. on yours okay. so that I can okay. I can okay. tap I on that comment. Doing that if it's a, if it's uh someone's gotten into my computer. Yeah, that's why I want a wrench is so I can go check. Do you want on mine or yours? Hers. Uh, on Echoes, because okay. I'm on Echoes page right now. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm getting there. Hold on. Um, do you need me to type something in there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm scrolling back up to find you, but I hadn't found you yet. Oh, there you are. I got you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I know she said something earlier. Let me go. I'm back not up quick here. enough. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now let me go find that comment. Where is it? Uh, I got another one I can put in too. I don't know. Okay. Who put it in. Go to channel. Let me see. Well, it is showing her channel. It took me right to her channel. Who's doing it? I don't know because it's your channel that that it took me to. So it's not somebody that um, has taken your channel and is is like I don't know. It, maybe you have been at through YouTube. It sounds like it because. It says, it says, hashtag EC data where I'm a computer in feeling a more oh, five and golf being a gay pride day era where I'm computer. No, and see, it's all, it's not even coherent. What's being. Yeah, I've got another one. They just, they just, they just, they're typing away now. That's what they type right now. Yeah, I, I'm not sure unless your channel has been completely uh, taken over and hacked. I, I'm going to have to cut my computer off. It's, i got to go to bed anyway. They're all asleep. Yeah, but I wouldn't let it just go. I mean, if, if, if you see any more problems going on, report it to YouTube that you believe right. you've been hacked. Yeah. And so at I, least they even, can check into it. It won't even let me enter what I what what's being typed now. All right, I'll get out and come back in. I'm gonna close my computer down. 
Okay. And and Gary, if you would come over and check out Echo's channel, um, mm -hmm. that would be awesome. Now, I, I, I don't think... I can try to drop my link. Well, she would have had to drop it in hers, and now she's shut it down, so... I don't even oh. believe he's going to be able to see what we're saying now because she shut hers. Let me. Uh, no, I can't. I can't do anything through the stream yard side. So. Oh, now we got somebody in the back. Who is it? WWE SRV 2008. I don't know that person. I don't so either. I'm I wouldn't take the chance. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry to the person, whoever is in there. But, um, yeah, if they're in your basement, don't. don't. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Let me take care of him. He actually is one. Is before one you, be, before, can I, I suggest? I, oh, I was going to say, I verified him. Okay, but what I was going to say is I was going to tell you, you might want to report him. If he's a bad guy, I would say report him. Well, I don't know that he's a bad guy. He's uh, been tra he's trolled me before, and I was actually kind of waiting for him to come back in to see if I could um, figure out who he was. But now I know that. What I should have I don't done know, Lisa. This is what I we were talking about earlier about bad people. And all we can do is pray for those people that are doing things like this. And I hope it's not somebody followed me over and not liking what I'm saying. So No, that that guy he was here a few weeks back. So he's not anything to do with you. Um, but the people no, on the fans thing, that's weird. But who now, was it that was wanting me to friend them on Facebook? Lisa Echo. Davis. Who? Lisa Davis, Lisa D. Okay, let me go over there. Uh, okay, I see. Uh, confirm. I just confirmed it, Lisa. You should be seeing that I confirmed it. So, and, and I'm going to warn you, I don't normally go to Facebook. I go, I go, the only time I go to Facebook is first thing in the morning. I go there, I Sorry, check. I'm not sure about that. Echo, stop. <laughs> I, I go there and I check my notifications and I like on people's posts and stuff. But the, the main reason I have Facebook is for the messenger part so that it's easier to communicate with people. And if I want to video chat with them, it's more one-on-one. -on -one. And to me, that's, I communicate easier that way by face chatting. Okay. Um, and I sent, Lisa, I sent you a link and quiet listener, a link to that Facebook group to living my best okay. life at 60. And then I'll send you the ones for real life happens too. Okay. Hopefully. Uh, there it is. Join. I just joined. It's just, I just put recipes and uh, uplifting quotes. And sometimes I share videos from my channel or, you know. Well, that's whatever. awesome. Is it okay if I see one that I like a lot, I can share it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Share, comment, whatever. It's just. Uh, an extension of because I found there's a lot of people that don't do YouTube that do Facebook and vice versa. So yeah. just to kind of uh, and mostly I started the one the life at 60 from a lot of my kid, people I went to high school with that are in my um, graduating were in my graduating class. Okay. Now, let's see if I can find you again. All right. There you are. Okay. 
Yeah, who who Roxanne has control has access to your computer. Nobody but me. You that that friend of yours that was helping you set up Nightbot and stuff, he doesn't have control. Mm, not on, no, because he's not in here. I hadn't talked to him in about a month. Uh, yeah, and that's separate echo. The uh, separate from. Okay, if she was doing it through the Streamyard. She only gave him the code through the stream yard. And, and unless she did hit, like, I, I did, did it with it Eddie. the team thing. And I got the team viewer, which yeah. is control. Ooh, well, I think yeah. every time they log out, though, once you close that team viewer and they logged out, they're going to need a new code and a new password each time. Right. So they can't get in there without that. It sounds to me like she might have been hacked. And if it happens is, again, I'll let y'all know. Uh, yeah. It's not you know, that's what blows me let away. Me is try, let me try streaming again. That's when it started happening. The thing is, these people are so smart and so knowledgeable computer wise. They could really get awesome jobs do yeah. it and so get off the computer quit doing this to people and being bad guys and go get a really awesome job and make big money that's, yeah. that's my opinion <laughs> it might have been one of those guys that came in because i didn't know who they were well remember when we got i got trolled way back when a few weeks ago roxanne yeah that was one of the people that had come in the next couple of days after that uh -huh. uh, and and he even subscribed to my channel and i thought i had him blocked but you can still come in the back door even if you're blocked yeah that i've known other people that that these that's what i'm saying these yeah. people are so, so knowledgeable he came in under a different his his name was different this time but when i did the three dots and it says verified by youtube that uh -huh. name that came up there is the same name as the other is you know that i knew of him so now he's in my block list under both names but i blocked him now from the studio so he can't come back either way well, and I got to get off of here because it is my bedtime. I got to get up early. Oh, it is getting late. Um, Roxanne and I do this every time we get on or, we, or we're talking in private even. And it, it's like, I have to go to bed because I have to get up at 5 a.m. And we'll be like, okay, we got to get off here. And then another hour will go by. And we're like, okay, we really got to get off here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, gotta, I don't got to get up at 5 a.m., but yeah i'm i'm not good with little sleep so i do got to go to sleep early because i lay there and toss and turn a lot so i got to get off here and go to bed um tomorrow night is my life at seven pacific time okay so, which you're what are you three hours behind you right now it, 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 let me see what it's seven forty one. yeah here right now Okay, because I go live at 7 o'clock, but mine will be done, and then I'll come over to yours. Okay. Eat. You see what I'm eating right before bed? Organic licorice. Oh, I love licorice. I've never I had love black licorice. Most people don't like the black, but I do. Yeah. Anyway, well, I love you all. Thank all you. Right. Have we'll a time. Talk to you soon. All right. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. All right, oh. Roxanne, you fell okay. down, went boom. Yeah, I know. I had to. I had to reset up and before you get it kicked uh, me out. So we're gonna see if anything. Yeah, happens. Edith, you have to have a test or you have to have surgery. I'm hoping it's just a test. I hope I sleep tonight. I hope I don't go to sleep and wake back up in the middle of the night again. Yeah, I gotta go to bed because my grandson's in the bed, my daughter's in the bed, my son-in-law's in the bed. <laughs> All right. Say good night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. 
Yeah, I should, but I want to see if this happens again. I don't know what was going on. Oh, I don't know either. That's it a weird just, thing. It wouldn't let me. Oh, you have to get a treatment of radiation. That's right. I forgot. Miss Edith has cancer. Hey, Mama, hey. for please. Hey, Mom. I don't know why we're whispering. It's not like they can hear us. <laughs> no. <coughs> anyway. Yep. I got to go to bed before my daughter says something. I just want to see. We had a hacker come in on my side for some strange reason, Mom. We don't know what was going on. My computer was just a typing away. I had my arm up where on the roller bar of my laptop, but that would have made it type. Not no. not full sentences. And it, it was typing crazy, too. Yeah, I had more crazy. It just kept going, and I kept hitting enter, enter, enter. It wasn't doing it. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Weird, weird, weird. Yeah. Uh, we're doing good. So we got a shopping tomorrow. Got to buy him a mouse for, oh, his, okay. for his birthday present. Oh, okay. If cool. I talk loud, he'll he might wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he didn't want to go to bed with you there, did he? And not really. He said, I, I said, what time do you have to go to bed? He said, 30 minutes. I said, well, that's 8 o'clock. And we're sitting here, and he's playing his game, listening to Granny watch her play Minecraft. And he said, I said, what time do you say you had to go to bed? 30 minutes. I said, well, 30 minutes was uh, 40 minutes ago. <laughs> said, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. We went to the candy. This is my favorite candy store. If anybody ever goes to Daytona, you go here. Can you see it? Um, Angel and, Angels and Phelps. Yeah, Phelps. 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 And uh, I told him he could pick out one big thing and nine little things. Well, he did sort of that, you know. He said, but I want some of these up here. Does that mean nine little pieces of candy? I said, no, you can get you one box of candy. And you know, and we'll add that as one because it's one box. He says, oh, that's even better. <laughs> <He's smart>. Yeah. <laughs> but he goes up there and he says, I want, he, he read the words. He's only in the kindergarten. He says, I want the lemon, lemon one, whatever it's called, lemon truffle. And he said, I want the chocolate truffle. And he was reading those words. And I said, you're pretty smart for kindergarten. Yeah. He's on a third grade level, they said. Oh, my gosh. That's wonderful. <coughs> yeah. So. Well, do they make the candy there, or they just sell a lot of candy? No, they make it there. Yeah. Oh, All homemade. Good. I'll show you something else. Oh, this is some of my favorite stuff in this bag. I'm not sponsored, YouTube, but, but I like it. <laughs> now, you know how you buy Whoppers. Yeah, I think they're awful tasted. These are the best malted milk malt here. Dark chocolate. Oh yeah, I, I love it. dark chocolate. And what else did I buy today? All right. Yeah, she's a proud granny. This is a regular milk chocolate, but it's a turtle. I can't even. Is it a turtle? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's hard to see it because I'm not holding it right. Then they got good white chocolate. Oh, yeah. I like dark chocolate, but I like white chocolate, too. I yeah. love white chocolate almond bark. That's like the, the die for. And these are graham, graham crackers. crackers. Dark chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. graham crackers. Ooh. Well, I love those. And we were coming out of the store, and this gentleman says, I bought this uh, candy. He had two of these in his hand. He said, I bought them for the gentleman standing on the corner there. 
He's homeless, and I was going to give him something to eat. And these are probably better for you than just plain chocolate. I said, yeah, because you get a graham cracker with it. But he said he's gone. So he handed it to me and, and said, give this to your grandson, because he heard us talking in there. So we gave him to Clint. I thought I bought another one, but I don't see it. He even they says, I'm milk chocolate only and mix black cherries. Yum. Oh, that would be great. And Lisa D said, oh, all my favorites. Yeah, you're making us hungry. Yeah, I said about, I don't Isn't see it. Right 11. Oh, well, I don't see what it, I thought I bought one, but I didn't. They had seashells that were dark and white chocolate mixed together, swirl. Oh, um, rock candy. Rock candy. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I thought I had a uh, seashell, but I don't see the seashell. I must have put it back. <laughs> Some of them were not, a, you know, the turtles were 99 cents compared yeah. to others more. Yeah. All right. It looks like my problem is fixed, unless I type something in the background. So I might have to go and delete my history tonight. Yeah. But I, I think that, that guy that came in uh Lord somebody and yeah. Belt Loop. Do you know Belt Loop? Yeah. I, I don't know him, but I've seen him around it. And um Quiet Listener said she she knew him from several channels. But the other one, the Lord whatever, I never heard of him before. Okay. All right. He's, is he still here or is he gone? Cause I don't know. I don't know if we can block him or not, but that's probably who was doing it. Yeah. Oh, here's another one. Edith Coper. Is that? E Edith oh. is on. Um, okay. Uh, that's, she's fine. Yeah. Co uh, is it Cooper? Edith Cooper, I think. Yeah. 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 Copper. Yeah. Copper. Yeah. And then yeah, she, she stayed up with me day. all night last night. <laughs> yeah, I, I woke up this morning and I looked and I said, you got up at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> Couldn't I sleep. Know. I don't know what it was. All right. Did you see the short I made, though, about us going to Florida? Yes, I did. <laughs> I said she was uh, bored last night. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yes, yeah, 11 o'clock almost. Yeah. And he's got school tomorrow, but he's asleep in his bed. Well, I'm actually in his bed. They put his bed in the other room. They cleaned it up. Bought a big old tent thing to put her mushrooms in because they grow in the dark. And gave me the twin bed. And when they leave, they just put it back in his room. Hmm. Okay. He's on a, he's on a blow-up mattress. Oh, okay. Hmm. But I may ask them if they want me to buy them a twin bed for this room so she can still have her mushroom area and a little bed for Granny. Because I don't need a big bed, you know? Yeah, that's true. His mattress is just not as soft as I would like. <laughs> no. Oh, goodness. Well, it's not doing anything now. All right. Well, let's go ahead and close this one out. Thank you all for coming. I enjoyed it. And I will see you all maybe tomorrow night for Cinco de Mayo. We'll see. We'll you know see. what we're doing tomorrow. Okay. All right. Good night, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and hit the button. It'll take it a minute. Yeah. Thank you for coming.